Hey guys, Levi from Diesel Performance here. So I got a question on how to time a Model 100 injection pump. So I figured I'd make a quick video. So Model 100s, they went on Internationals and Alice Chalmers for the most part. You know, 66 Series, 86 Series Internationals, 8050 uh, Alice Chalmers. But here's pumps right here that we got. This is the one I just finished running for an International. So the only difference between an International, well, there's there's quite a few differences on the internals, really. But as far as timing it goes, is on an International, your timing plate's on this side. On an Alice, it's on the right-hand side of the pump. So normally there'd be four bolts on this plate. I already got took two loose. All right, so to time the pump, you have to have this timing mark lined up with that pointer, and then inside here, let's see if I can get it in focus. All right, so I'm going to point my finger right at it. There's a line right there. So you got to see that line, and you got to see this line at the same time. So... If I turn this pump over, I'm going to turn it over one turn. And at that point, I was lined up on number one cylinder. So, I'm going to turn this over one more time and line my mark up. But now when I look in here, there's no mark inside there. So that's the number one thing people get wrong when they take these off, is they just line the pointer up and the mark on the front. They don't line the mark up on the inside of the pump. And uh, at this point, what would happen is it'd be on number six cylinder instead of number one cylinder. They'd put the pump on and it wouldn't run right. So it might run, it might not run, um, but that's all there is to it. And so that's a visual of you know what you need to do to get these things timed before you pull them off the tractor. 